Every day, millions of people around the world use escalators in places like shopping malls and airports. Escalators can move 100 or more people just as easily as one. Driven by a motor, these moving stairways make it very convenient for people to get around. Riding an escalator is easy, but building the smoothest and most quiet ride possible takes expertise. It starts with workers welding together the structural framework of the escalator. Like the chassis of a car, the track system and all other components will be bolted to this frame. A worker puts together the main drive gear, which hooks up to a motor with a chain. It will pull the steps and the handrails. He puts on an emergency brake device and uses bolts to secure it in place. He attaches side frames to the gear to make what is called the transition assembly. This assembly includes a drive gear for the handrail and allows the steps to loop back at both ends of the escalator. He then lowers the completed transition assembly into the truss, the hollow structure of the escalator. With the transition assembly in place, workers then install a comb plate, the last part of the escalator a person steps on before getting onto the moving steps. A worker makes the steps using aluminum ingots, which he puts into a crucible. They then apply a release agent to the mold used to make the steps. Spraying more lubricant on the mold ensures the aluminum stair will release properly from the die cast machine, which automatically receives the exact amount of molten aluminum needed to make one step. A robot then takes the one piece step from the die cast machine and carries it to the trimming department. Here, a trim press removes some residual aluminum. The excess material goes back to the crucible to be recycled. Once the robot finishes a general trimming of the step, it sends it to the finishing department. There, finishing robots then file off the sharp edges. The robot also files in between the teeth that go across the step. Then it passes the step over a belt sander, making it smooth to the touch. Transformed from solid aluminum to a casting that is painted and assembled, the step is now ready to be installed. A worker rolls out a chain of rollers called a step chain. He greases all the pins, then they place all the steps into position. Workers then connect the axles on the steps to the pins in the step chain and then lock them together using a spring clip. They feed the required length of chain and steps into the unit. A worker then attaches a turnaround track. The turnaround track allows the length of steps to make a continuous loop from one end of the escalator to the other. The escalator runs for about five hours to ensure it operates quietly and properly. During this testing period, it goes through up to 250 quality control checks. After passing all the tests, Workers wrap the unit in heat shrink plastic. The escalator is now ready to load on a flatbed truck for delivery to the customer.